Interest in collegiate athletics have never been greater, but what goes into the foundation of building a championship program? At Colorado State University Pueblo, when fundraising facilities and talent come together, what you have is one of the best Division II programs in the country. Let's peel back the curtains. Let's go behind the scenes. Welcome to Walk with the Wolves, all access with CSU Pueblo Athletics. Football, family, and food. For John Riston, the three represent a commitment to his staff. Coaching can serve a larger purpose. Well, we've touched on the family atmosphere that's been created at CSU Pueblo, but when you have an opportunity like Tuesday night, when you get to have your coaches in, in a personal setting, in your home, what does it add to the program? What does it add to the, the community atmosphere that you've built here? Well, our, our number one goal in our program is to have attitude and chemistry. And uh, if we don't have it as a staff, we don't have it as an interaction between our families and my family and our community families. And, and I, don't, I don't think you really are adding to that chemistry part of it. And so uh, I have a great wife that has uh, been able to invite these poor souls that don't have a place to go eat after working all day. And, you know, we're usually in the office early in the morning and um, we start feeding about 8.30 at night on Tuesday nights. So... It, it adds to our chemistry, and that's one of our number, number one goals. It's hard not to notice the, the quotes around your program, uh, asking for excellence, requiring excellence, an inspiring place to be. What inspires you? What, what do, do you drive a lot of your inspiration from? <laughs> that's a good question. I, I, I don't want to fail this community. I don't want to fail uh, CSU Pueblo. I don't want to fail their our kids that are in this program and I ask them to do certain things so I just want to make sure I give it my all. If I give it my all and put my head down and if it's good enough it's good enough. If it's not, it's not and so I just want to go to bed every night knowing I've given it my all and help these kids so they'll be successful. A lot of times that creates pressure. Now we've seen how that doesn't really exist here because guys understand they can be themselves. The, the music that is playing, the individualism that comes with being a part of a team. How have you tried to, to make sure that, that the atmosphere isn't overwhelming where guys feel like if I do not succeed, I am failing the community, so success has to be a requirement? I, I think the only way, there's a lot of ways to measure success. It's not done on ones and losses, and it's not done on every Saturday afternoon. I believe success is being able to take a kid where he can't take himself. I believe it's being able to help uh, young coaches become better coaches. I, I believe in myself. I, I, I need to be able to uh, be humble and be able to ask people, um, what do you think? What, what, what do I need to do better? And I think uh, if you do all those things, that adds to all that success. And so um, I, I really think part of my job is we don't get finished products. And uh, if they can graduate here and earn their degree, I mean, it, isn't that success? No matter how many games you win or lose. And then I'm trying to get these kids to buy in and everybody understand, hey, put your head down, go to work, and see what happens. If you don't do that, that's a failure. So if I can build uh, and teach these guys that go to work every day as hard as you can and be excited about what you're doing, you got a chance to be successful. What coach has the most aggressive eating tactics that we need to be aware of? Well, there, there, there's a lot of different combination. Uh, it, coach Hughes, is he's from Nashville, so you got to watch out with, with, with him. He kills you with that southern gentleman style. And then, then there's Craig Ward, who's um, a, a rancher. And so those ranchers are pretty aggressive and pretty bold on that. And then there's JT Haddon, who's one of my first players that we ever recruited that is a, a silent assassin. You know, he just doesn't, uh, he don't say more than two words and he never did in his playing career, but he can put some food away now. And uh, then there's Jake Novotny and he, he talks while he eats. So he just keeps talking. And so we, 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 got, we, got, we got a lot of issues over here. And, you know, Steve Sewell, he'd come over, but um, we started, a, a, I put him in charge of our study table, and, and we have uh, teachers from the campus come over on Tuesday night. And it, it'd be easy for him to leave to come eat, 
but that's the type of guy he is that he won't leave what he's responsibility and that's what I love about him so uh, Steve is, is one of the nicest guys and he always brings something these other yahoos never bring anything so um, it, it's one of those deals you, you got to have all the right ingredients in both cases you got to have the right ingredients to make the right sausage or you got to right brisket or you got to get the right rub and as a team you got to have the right ingredients and I'm very lucky to have all the right ingredients on my team like I don't know about my cooking well the meat doesn't talk back which is a well, nice benefit as well well that's <laughs> but it, you also don't get judged on Saturday afternoons <laughs> and so I've been very lucky to have the great ingredients with her I was fortunate to be a division one coach for a long time and um, it put it, we put in the hours that we need to and I think right now in division the way we operate we we get our work done yeah we, and we, we're not going to skimp on anything but also uh, if you're done it's okay to go home it's okay to be a part of doing something different and so um, that's kind of what we do here on Tuesday nights here at uh, Susie Pueblo and uh, I got to feed a bunch of guys my staff that doesn't have anybody to go home to cook for them so my wife will shell and uh, we try to do something each Tuesday and this is an opportunity for us to have a little life in balance. Well, let's break down the menu because we do have plenty of hungry coaches and the selection is across the board, Coach. Well, uh, tonight uh, um, I'm doing a little uh, chicken. I'm smoking teriyaki chicken. I uh, had a marinade made and, and it's marinated for 24 hours. Sausage and chicken. <laughs>